If you are serious about working on vehicles, then the Top Don Phoenix Plus might be the tool that you're missing to allow you to do just that. We are looking at a 10.1 inch screen, a massive 12,600 milliamp battery, rugged construction that feels like it's able to withstand an explosion, and software that is very simple to use, yet very powerful, and allows you to work on almost any vehicle that is under the sun. The guys from Top Don managed to deliver to the market a product that is similar to the iPhone. If you are an Android user, first you will not like the Top Don because it's restrictive in the way that you are able to use the software. It is just a diagnostic tool. Minimum interaction with the user interface for some, too little for others just the right amount of information to allow you to work as optimally as possible let's discuss the specs we are looking at a 4 core 2 gigahertz cpu 4 gigabytes of ram 64 gigabytes of rom android 10 and the new graphic interface from top Don. this is their new layout with a software that is highly optimized to work on the vehicles if we want to address the elephant in the room you might ask what is the price point of this type of device. In the past, these devices were quite expensive. Now I'm starting to see a trend with this Phoenix Plus being delivered and available in Britain at less than 800 pounds if you shop on AliExpress, 850 if you go on eBay and 1000 pounds if you go on Amazon. Links are available in the description. Use them and support the channel if you want to do so. The guys from Top Don managed to do a very interesting mix. Their hardware took some of the things from other manufacturers. They got inspirations from Autel with a very interesting connection between the VCI and the unit via USB cable. They got inspiration on the software side from Launch, which I might think that it's the, the company that gives them the diagnostic capabilities, but Top Don managed to pack everything nicely together with some hardware that makes it really, really appealing. You will struggle to find a tablet, you will struggle to find a system that has a 12,600 milliamp battery. The rugged construction and the quality feel of this product, again, it's something that sets it apart from the competition. Now, let's just go through the things that this unit is able to do. It will do the basic diagnostics. It will do actuator testing. Some people call it bi-directional control. It will do data logging. However, a little bit less advanced than the X tools. This unit is able to do the data logging, but it's not able to export it as a CSV. It's still doable and usable on the screen but you will not be able to export it. And it has a bunch of special functions. Special functions out of which some of them are the ECU coding, ECU matching, and all sorts of personalization. So you will be able to go and change some of the settings on your vehicle. Okay, this is their layout of the special functions. You have things from air to fuel uh, ratio, resets, brake oil, steering angle, battery management systems, ABS bleeding, something with the headlights, throttle, resets, AdBlue, TPMS, DPF, EC systems, airbags, clutches, coolant, ECU coding, EGR resets, ECU monitoring, the FRM matching, specific for the BMWs, GPF, gasoline, particulate filter, similar to the DPF, gateway, something with the gearboxes, immobilizer, high voltage batteries, specific immobilizer programming for which you will need additional hardware, injector coding, cruise control, languages, calibrations. And here we are starting to see another interesting trend. The software is allowing us to do mileage correction. So providing that you're working on a VAG, Volkswagen Seat, Audi or Skoda, a Trunky, Heimauer or Nissan, you might be able to change the mileage using this device. All sorts of other stuff, the basic sunroof operation, auto stop testing and disabling, suspension up and down, transport mode, windows calibration, tire changing and other stuff. Don't get fixated on the, the functions that you have available in this point, in this area. Many of the functions you will be able to access by going to the ECU that is in charge of that function and performing a special function with that ECU or an actuator testing with that ECU. The more you work with these tools, you will notice that 
they're not doing something magical. They are mimicking, they are emulating the OEM software. So if in the OEM software you don't have a specific function, this unit doesn't miraculously create that function. These units will allow you to do the OEM stuff, but don't expect that you will be an expert or if you are proficient at working on a certain brand, I'm very good on BMWs and Volkswagens. But if I take the same knowledge that I have for these brands and try to apply it as I have done on a Peugeot, on a Boxer, the information is in different places. It still takes a lot of time for me to understand how those things are working and the layout might seem different, although I'm using the same diagnostic tool. Special functions covered. This tool is allowing you to do those ECU coding using cloud-based resources. And to do that, the big advice that you should receive is that you want a battery support unit to be uh, engaged on that vehicle and you want to go with a cable connection between the VCI and the tablet. Another key takeaway, this unit comes with two years of free updates and the access to the cloud coding, cloud programming side of things. As soon as your two year subscription ends, you will not have access to that cloud coding and personalization functions. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'm starting to build a database with all of the diagnostic tools that I have tested and that I have known. So you will find it somewhere. In that database, you will find also the pricing and the updated lists of the tools that I have uh, tested in a more congruent comparison format. Check that one out in the description. To actually test this device, I've used it on the BMW F10, on the Honda Accord MK7, and on a Peugeot Boxer 2020. The functionalities that I've searched for would be the diagnostic sites, I've tried some actuator testing, and I've tried at the same time to do data logging. Examples will be shown for each and every one of them. The unit surprised me on the Honda Accord because the other diagnostic tools that I'm using are quite slow. As a surprise, this one worked flawlessly and faster than the other units. Actuator testing on the Accord went according to plan. Even data logging was consistent with the previous tests that I have done. On the BMW F10, very familiar and very similar to the other tools that I've used. They are mimicking the BMW genuine stuff. And again, everything worked as it should, as I was expecting. On the Peugeot 2020 Boxer, here is where we're starting to see some inconsistencies. We're, st we're seeing the unit struggling in performing the functions if we address them straight from the service menu. That, I think it's something that the guys, the developers are still working on, but providing that you give it enough time, those functions will be available even for that vehicle. And I don't want to generalize the fact that not, uh, not having all of the functions working on the Peugeot is something that will translate to other vehicles. Peugeots and those crazy French cars are all over the place. And I give it, I give the unit a little bit of slack on that. Battery life is something Amazing on this device, I managed to get more than 20 hours of use from a single charge and I've monitored the time needed to perform the charge. I've got 4 hours and 45 minutes to charge the battery completely. Also, I'm not using the charger that they provide because it was making some strange noises and I've noticed that if I use that charger on my phone, it's not able to fast charge, so I'm using a Samsung charger with the cables that Top Dome provide and charging this tablet that way. In a previous video, I have went through all of the menu. You might want to see that video. It will give you clarity on the layout of some of the functions. Now, we will do a summary of the things that are in the favor of this unit and some of the things that are against it, what I liked versus what I don't really like. I admit that I was biased. In the beginning, I was considering them as being overpriced and too commercial. But the more I used it, the more I appreciate its qualities. And the massive screen is the big, big seller. The massive screen, the massive battery, and the rugged design make this a unit that you can use for checking your wiring diagrams, your workshop procedures, performing the actual testing, and not worry about your device. In the past, I would go find a wiring diagram, take a picture, use it on my phone, get my phone dirty, drop my phone. Now I don't need to do such a thing. I have the real estate needed to see the diagrams as I want, where I want, 
Another interesting thing was the fact that Top Don assigns a technician that you can chat with to support you in the use of this device. So after buying it, someone got in touch, should I have any questions, should I have any problems, to contact them and they will sort out the issues. They will check from time to time with you if you want any support or any additional stuff that you can give them as a feedback. That was something that I really appreciated many of the times you're buying a diagnostic tools and nobody a diagnostic tool and nobody wants to hear about you. So their support was spot on and it was really nice. The overall simplicity of the software is an advantage and a disadvantage. It is an advantage because if you're working in a workshop, you want things that just work and you want things that other people other people cannot change the configurations and upset other users. So the simplicity factor of it is a big advantage. And overall, although it seems as a menacing price, it is very well priced for its capabilities. It is well priced because you will not find another device with the specs that this one is featuring. And it is really, really solid. It is something that will withstand years of abuse. And now some of the things that I didn't like about the top dot. The first thing that you will notice, or maybe it's specific to my unit, maybe it's not a general thing, the touch functionality, the keyboard, sometimes is laggy, especially when you need to input names and text. And that was a big annoying factor for me. Also, sometimes depending on the app and depending on where you're using it, you cannot get rid of this massive keyboard and the back arrow might have been quite useful. Besides that, only small things. You might be annoyed by the fact that you're receiving a 12 volt charger that cannot be connected to the device because you don't have a 12 volt port. You might be annoyed by the fact that you're getting 12 volt clamps, but you cannot connect it to the device. But those realistically are very small things. Another annoying bit would be the fact that nowhere is it said that after the two year period of updates, your online coding will stop working. Those are things that Top Don might improve, but overall they have a good product that is not only for the professionals, but it is at the border where it can be useful for the beginners or not the beginners, for the enthusiasts and for the people that work on their own. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you might also want to see this one over here. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.